By 1917, Britain was already controlled by a foreign power. This hidden government used Britain to take down the Ottoman Empire power structure. And in 1917, a declaration was made during World War I that would unfold in World War II. This declaration is the key to understanding how the hidden government will bring about World War III. But we'll get to that after these predictions for the end of 2022 and going through 2023 and into 2024. <music> Guys, the United Kingdom analysis is not an easy one to do. Though nationally unified, the UK is very fragmented with separatist populations very different religious views, and the peoples of Ireland and Scotland, Cornwall, Wales, maintaining two different cultural identities at all times, their ancient clans and peoples, and their new status under the UK. This rich diversity makes sequence predictive analytics dif difficult for this area of the world. In my isometric analysis, we combine the events of 2022 with those of 1998 and the year the holographic reflection for 2022 is 1974. Now, in the holographic, in the holography, this combination results in events unfolding that are a result of the combination of their antecedents. You need to review the predictions playlist to better understand this phenomenon. While some of these events may have already transpired in 2022, these are the events that should transpire this year and moving into 2023. So let's review them. So we have new information about the death of Princess Diana and Dodi Fayed. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Will be discovered and this intel will reveal the car accident was murder because the powers of the UK would not have an intermarriage with Princess Diana and a Muslim. Also, the price of crude oil increases and this leads to political problems with UK miners who then demand an increase in pay for coal mining. Let's see. Due to the energy shortage, the UK will provide electricity to industry for only a certain amount of days a week. Same thing that happened in 1974. 1974, they cut industry down to three days a week. Cut their power off. Due to the energy crisis, the UK will impose slower speed limits and even implement appliance and lights and television rationing. I don't know how they'll enforce that unless they just turn your lights off, turn your power off. Two general elections in one year and a hung parliament. Now, some of these events may have already happened. I'm just going through the events of 2022. I don't know. I don't live in the UK, and I really don't follow the news. So, despite media suppression, the information is widely spread that the poke is directly linked to autism. Several companies collapse in 2022 and into 2023. There is a documented baby boom that is going to occur in late 2023 going into 2024. Actually, all through 2023, and it has everything to do with the winter of 2022 that we're going into right now. The European Union is regarded as impotent, and this, this affects how the UK is seen by the world. This is before the end of 2022. A UK socialite or business figurehead, or maybe, maybe an architect, he has given a prison sentence for corruption, something that no one foresees, foresaw. Maybe this is somebody everybody thinks that he's going to get away with whatever he had done. I don't know who he is. 
the UK relationship with Ireland begins to change. Someone in broadcasting and television dies unexpectedly before finishing his production, mirroring the sudden death of James McTaggart in 1974, who died of a heart attack before he could finish his production, Robinson Crusoe. Market problems will negatively impact IG Group, a major worldwide online financial trading service founded in London. Lawmakers may have to rescue to impo uh, by imposing new restrictions. Inflation will soar to an all-time record, but it will be a sh very short period of time. In 2022, in Wales, there should be some UFO-related event. Maybe it's already happened or we're waiting on it to happen right now. Also, a Welsh journalist or a news anchor will lose their job for telling the truth. Moving into 2023, there is more of the same instability. The UK's relationship with the EU is either fundamentally changed or over in 2023. As a war unfolds in the Middle East, the United Kingdom does not support it. The United Kingdom relationship with Ireland changes in 2023. I don't live in the UK, so I really don't know what this relationship would be. I have no idea. Mining, mining will be increased, especially in Cornwall, coal and tin. Rail workers and civil servants will go on strike. This is 2023. A British official, it will be widely reported that they are killed overseas. A new law will come into effect that will restrict pay increases and restrict vendors from being able to increase their prices on the shelves. This is a counterinflation measure. A British new news correspondent is jailed overseas for violating the Official Secrets Act. Over 1.5 million workers will go on strike over, over government pay restraints. Several British officials are implicated and even resign over a sex scandal in 2023. An interruption in communication has the United Kingdom suddenly using radio as its primary means of telecommunications and broadcasting, and there is a renewed interest throughout the United Kingdom of using printed materials and the printing press. This is interesting because it, it totally aligns with the predictions for the rest of the world for 2023. Remember, guys, it's the whole reason I started unleashing my super PAC. It's the, caring, the, the staged Carrington event, the takedown of the Internet to bring up something different. And during the time that it's down, it seems like in the, in, in the United Kingdom, they recover real quick and start introducing uh, books, pamphlets, uh, just f maybe flyers, but the printing press becomes real popular again suddenly in Britain, which wouldn't happen if the internet was still operable. So I found that pretty interesting when I saw that in the, in the, uh, in the isometric analysis. That was very, very interesting. A conflict with a neighboring nation over resources of the sea, which will be very similar to like the Cod War of 1974. I believe that was with Scandinavia, Iceland, Iceland. It was with Iceland. It was, uh, there was some military exercises in there. I mean, there was some gunfire, I, I believe. Yeah, I believe military ve vessels were, dis were, were dispatched for that. I can't really, I don't remember the details, but I know... It was over fish, and I know some. V I know some some boats were fired on, and that and that resulted in military ve vessels being sent out. I don't know if it escalated, but there was there was there was two cod wars. So, uh, okay, in Wales, there is a there is either the discovery of evidence of an undetected serial killer in 2023, meaning meaning they find bodies, or People start start dying in Wales. The victims are going to be three or four of them, uh, all of them the al almost the exact same age. This too, this too is is powerfully reflective of the year nineteen seventy four, or nineteen seventy three. Excuse me. 
In 2023, there will be a large increase in automotive fatalities in Wales. Not the rest of the United Kingdom, just in Wales. I don't know why. Wales will experience renewed oil and gas drilling and refinery production in 2023. Through 2023, there will be renewed cultural fervor of Irish, Welsh, Scottish, Cornish, and even Anglo-Saxon and early Britain ethnic a self-realization, a return to cultural roots. It's a, but this isn't this isn't novel. I've already seen this in other projections and project and predictions I've, I've given for like the United States and, and other European countries. This is coming back on the table everywhere. So has a lot to do with this rising conservative Christian right that's 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 taking over and res- and going to be responsible over the next six to nine months with basically taking out the the liberal leftist regimes and and replacing them. Like I told you guys, the pendulum is swinging. We're in full swing now. Moving from 2023 into 2024 is a series of lifting restrictions on travel, trade, commerce, and labor. In 2024, the relationship between the UK and Ireland will further divide. Miners will strike, and this strike will last for weeks, and it will be followed with with thousands of dock workers also on strike, and this will lead to a national emergency. This could be the very end of 2023 or somewhere in the beginning of 2024. The government freezes prices and rent and bank rates are absolutely abolished to counter this inflation. So, in summary, it seems to be business as usual. There isn't a lot changing in the United Kingdom. Not like other areas of the world where I've seen great change. Now, I've done predictions for Dominican Republic and, and other countries, and I in, the, in those videos, I had to admit, look, I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of change. The status quo prevails. So it's always been a little tumultuous and chaotic in the United Kingdom, politically and socially, and this seems to continue. But there are threads of change, this, this return to culture, and this... Uh, this divide between conservatism and liberals with the liberals lo- losing, beginning to lose power. These seem to be on the table in the UK as well. There are no missile strikes that are going to affect the United Kingdom. There are, is no Russian invasion. There are no nuclear fatalities. None of this is on the table in these predictions that will affect the citizens of the United Kingdom. Most happenings are internal in nature. They involve the birth pangs of a dying system of government and the birth of a new one that seems to be giving Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, many of their former rights, privileges, and immunities back. I don't know the details. Not a politician. I'm just telling you what I have found in my analysis. So, a process of beginning at the crossover from 2022 to 2023 and an intro into 2024 is what we're seeing here. This, this change coming over the United Kingdom. This respect for the roots of people, of people's, you know, uh, their race, their culture, their history, their, na- their actual nationalities. Because the United Kingdom is made up of multiple different nationalities that all exist in those islands. They're not one unified people, although they are politically. So... As events continue to unfold, going toward and into 2023, it will be seen that Western nations are weakening, dissolving their international coalitions, that the United Nations, NATO, the EU, they're they're inefficient and they seem to be collapsing. Now, this could be a strategy. I don't know, but this is how the rest of the world will perceive what is going on. It is during this period in 2023 when several Middle Eastern nations will fight with Israel. Sometime in the near future, Jerusalem will be captured. And in this way, this is how the elite will set the stage for the next crusade. They will ready the world to receive the first horseman. This planning began with the Balfour Declaration in 1917, authored by Walter Rothschild and Sir Arthur Balfour 
of England. It was the British who secured a home for the Jewish people. The plan is to have Jerusalem retaken by the Palestinians, Muslims of the, of the Middle East. This will allow the elite to empower the Western nations to come together under a Christian coalition and invade the Middle East in an all-new crusade which will basically roll out the red carpet for the apocalypse.